Hi everyone, in this lesson we will be using the sweep feature to create the wires. I'm going to select our XY plane, right click and select create sketch. We were pulled out from the sketch mode so I'm going to go back to our timeline and select edit sketch. Hitting S for sketch toolbox and typing SP, selecting our spline, zooming in. Left click on the center point, same with the center point of this face or a circle, going to front view, going to left click here, left click, and double left click to exit the spline, hitting escape. And finally, selecting Stop Sketch. Let's head up to our Create drop-down and select Sweep for the profile. Selecting this profile and this profile. Activating Path, selecting this spline. But first, I'm going to uncheck Chain Selection. Left-click this one. I'm going to change the operation to join as well. Moving up and left click this one as well. Hitting OK. Next, going to our wire plug and let's turn on the visibility of Sketch 3. Right click and select Repeat Sweep. Selecting this profile and this profile, activating path, selecting the spline, changing the operation to join, moving up, selecting this line, going to front view, and finally hitting OK. Our cable is a bit short, so what we can do is we can select this point and left click and hold to drag this down. So tweaking, selecting the points, moving them to your desired location. So this link is fine with me. Going to right click and select repeat sweep for the profile. Selecting this profile, this profile, this one, this one, this one, deselecting this one, selecting this one. The path is our spline operation to be joined and inspecting. So model looking nice. And finally, hitting OK. Let's turn off the visibility of Sketch 3, going to Front View. So this one, we will flatten this one out a bit later. Double left click to zoom extents. And let's turn off the visibility of the planes. Turning this off. So model looking nice and moving forward let's flatten this one out going to front view and expanding our origin planes selecting our XY plane right click and select create sketch hitting R for rectangle Selecting center rectangle, let's create a rectangle here, left click, hitting escape and selecting coincident, selecting this line. But first I'm going to hit P for project, selecting this edge, selecting look at, zooming in. Hitting OK, selecting Coincident, 
left click this point and this line hitting escape so making sure that this vertical line is way past this edge same here so this is fine with me hitting E for extrude selecting this rectangular profile the direction to be symmetric operation to be cut selecting this arrow and dragging this and finally hitting OK next I want you to locate the microjack 3.5 millimeter step file and head over to your data panel selecting upload drag and drop here the step file and select upload so mine is already uploaded I have it here so look locate the step file in your data panel and from that right click and select insert into current design but of course you should have saved your file so I am prompted to save this one so I am resaving this one and hitting save file now saved going back to our uploaded step file right click and selecting insert into current design so minimizing our data panel moving this one down and rotating this hitting OK expanding our folders so I have hidden cable turning this off selecting all these files right click and select rigid group and hitting OK next hitting J for joints selecting capture position for component one hovering over the space and selecting the center disk joint same here activating component two left click the motion type to be rigid hitting OK next moving up and activating our whole assembly hitting J for joint expanding this one selecting our origin left click moving up to our assembly for component 2 left click our origin and motion type to be rigid as well hitting OK going to home view model looking nice and in the next lesson we will add a logo here at the headband top and I'll be seeing you on the next lesson